I accepted Almighty God's work of the last days over a month ago. The pastors and elders haven't stopped hassling me, and they're getting my parents to stand in my way too. Now I'm feeling kind of weak, and I don't know how to get through this. Brother Zhang, I heard you had the same experience with a pastor right after you accepted this stage of God's work. How did you get through it? Hmm. God's words are what guided every step along my way. In 2005, after I accepted Almighty God's work of the last days, I shared the gospel with a brother from my old church. Then one afternoon, Pastor Lee and co-worker Wong showed up at my house. My heart was pounding. I wondered what they came for. Did they know I'd accepted Almighty God? When other church members accepted Almighty God, they started rumors, intimidated them, and got their families to oppose their faith. So what kind of tactics would they use against me? My son and my daughter showed up pretty soon. Now I was really puzzled. My kids had said that they were both really busy. So why then would both of them come today? Had Pastor Lee arranged for that? I realized that they had prepared for this in advance. I prayed to God right away. Oh God, I don't know what they're going to try to do to me. My stature is too small to know how to face this. Please guide me and help me to stay strong on the true way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I felt more calm after praying. Just then, Pastor Lee smiled and said, Brother Zhang, I heard that you accepted Easter Lightning now. So is that true? No matter how much truth there is in Eastern Lightning, we can't accept it. We have all believed in the Lord for many years and have preached for Him. We all know that the Lord Jesus was crucified and became a sin offering which redeemed us from our sin. We must uphold the name and the way of the Lord at all times. We cannot believe in another God. By departing from the Lord Jesus and believing in Almighty God, aren't you betraying the Lord? I was unruffled and said calmly, Pastor Lee, we have to be objective and practical. Go by the evidence, not condemn it arbitrarily. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. You haven't investigated the way of Eastern Lightning or read Almighty God's words. How can you conclude that I'm betraying the Lord by accepting Eastern Lightning? Do you know where the truth comes from? Do you know who expresses the truth? The Lord Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. God is the source of truth. How can you say, no matter how much truth is in Eastern Lightning, you can't accept it? Isn't that resisting both the truth and God? It is. Yes. Do you count as believers in the Lord? No. I said to them, I've read a lot of Almighty God's words lately, and I've seen that they're all the truth and they reveal many truths and mysteries. All my struggles through years of faith have been resolved through the words of Almighty God. Amen. Amen. I firmly believe that Almighty God is the return of the Lord Jesus. To follow Almighty God is to welcome the Lord's coming. Yes, That's for sure. Mm -hmm. You say faith in Almighty God is a betrayal of the Lord Jesus. Does that accord with the truth? When the Lord Jesus came to work, lots of people left the temple to follow him. Does that mean that they betrayed Jehovah God? Mm -hmm. Not at all. No. Although the Lord Jesus' work of redemption was different from the work of proclaiming the law that Jehovah God did, and God's name changed as well, the Lord Jesus and Jehovah are one and the same God. By believing in the Lord Jesus, they weren't betraying Jehovah God, but following in the footsteps of the Lamb and gaining God's salvation. Yes. Yeah. In fact, those who believed in Jehovah God, but did not accept the Lord Jesus, were the ones forsaking God and betraying Him. Yes. Yeah. 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 I went on to tell them, Almighty God's work is different from the Lord Jesus's. And God's name has changed, but they are one God. God just does different work during different ages. The Lord Jesus did the work of redemption in the age of grace, which was only forgiving our sins. He didn't resolve man's sinful nature. That's why he promised he'd come again to do the work of judgment. Almighty God has come in the last days, expressing these truths to judge every one of us on the foundation of the Lord's work of redemption, to resolve our satanic dispositions and our sinful nature, 
and fully save us from our sin, so we are gained by God. Almighty God's work and words fulfill the Lord Jesus' prophecies. That's right. That's right. My belief in Almighty God is not a betrayal of the Lord Jesus. It is following the footsteps of the Lamb. Wouldn't believing in the Lord Jesus without accepting Almighty God's work of the last days make us just like the Pharisees who only believed in Jehovah God and rejected the Lord Jesus? It's those sorts of people who resist and betray the Lord. Mm. That's, That's true. true. And then I advise them, you should look into Almighty God's work of the last days and then see for yourselves if his words are God's voice. Don't arbitrarily condemn it, or you could be condemned for opposing the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. You were really clear with them. So how did they react? Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pastor Lee looked really uncomfortable, so co-worker Wong rushed to smooth things over. We're opposed to Eastern Lightning, and don't let our members look into it, because we want to protect the church and look after the flock. The Lord won't condemn us for that. Pastor Lee feels a sense of responsibility for your life and doesn't want you to take the wrong path. You've been a co-worker, and you've already done so much for the church. Everyone respects and trusts you. They would all be so disappointed if you left us to go believe in Almighty God. Pastor Lee rushed to chime in. Co-worker Wong is right. You worked so hard all these years. It would be such a shame to walk away from the name you've made for yourself. Don't do that. Just come back. Everyone is waiting for you. Our church has set up a charity retirement home with connections to religious groups abroad who give us financial support. If you come back, we'll provide a car for you right away. If you'd like to manage the retirement home or manage the church or maintain the church finances, well, that's all up to you. The more I listened to them, the more I felt something was off. How could believers say something like that? The devil's temptation of the Lord Jesus in the Bible immediately came to mind. Again, the devil takes him up to an exceeding high mountain and shows him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said to him, all these things will I give you if you will fall down and worship me. Didn't all those things they were saying have the exact same feeling, the same tone as what Satan said? It was a ruse of Satan's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were luring me away from the true way with status and money so I would betray Almighty God. They were trying to trap me and do me in. Exactly. exactly. I'd been a believer for over 10 years. Lucky to welcome the Lord's return. I knew I couldn't be taken in by Satan and betray the Lord. So I said to them, I have heard the true voice of God and found the way of eternal life. I choose to follow God. You can save your breath. I will not depart from Almighty God. Yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah, amen. Then my daughter started crying and said, Dad, just listen to me for a moment. Mom just passed away. We've suffered enough. With you believing in Eastern Lightning and being expelled from the church, the brothers and sisters will shun us as well. I just hated seeing my daughter crying and begging like that. A fierce struggle arose within me. If I agreed to rejoin the church, I wouldn't be spurned. I'd keep my position. But that would be closing the door on the Lord. That would be a grave betrayal. Yes. yes. There were no easy options. In the midst of this pain, I silently cried out to God. Oh, almighty God, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. Please give me the strength and faith to avoid being disturbed so I can take a stand and resolutely follow you. Amen. 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 Just then, some of Almighty God's words I'd read before came to mind. You must be awake and waiting at all times, and you must pray before me more. You must see through all Satan's schemes and wiles, know of spirits and people, and differentiate each sort of person, event, and thing. Amen. Amen. God's words gave me strength, alerting me that I needed to practice discernment. Yes. 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 
Satan's tricks were behind what I was facing that day. Satan was using status and family to entice and attack me, disturbing my mind, with the goal of having me betray God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I could not fall into Satan's trap. So I said to my children, I've looked into it and it's very clear. Almighty God is the true God and his words and work are the true way. We've so longed for the Lord's coming all these years. Now that he has come, expressing truths for his judgment work, we have to keep up with his work and accept God's judgment and cleansing so we can escape the disasters and get into God's kingdom. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. We shouldn't be afraid of rejection by others, but of being eliminated by the Lord, of missing the chance to be raptured. Then we'd be weeping and gnashing our teeth in the great disasters. Right. right. Yeah. I went on telling them, you should take a look at Almighty God's words. You are sure to hear the voice of God in them. Then you can confirm that Almighty God is in fact the Christ of the last days. Then my kids finally stopped pushing the issue. Yeah, thanks to God. And I silently gave thanks for God's guidance. Right. Amen. Yeah. But what about the other two? They wouldn't budge, so instead they just left in a huff. Thanks be to God. Yeah. Thanks be to God. Mm. Thanks be to God. Yeah. They came back a few days later to try and tempt me with a potential marriage. Pastor Lee said, you've just lost your wife. Your daughter's married and your son isn't around much. It must be really hard for you to be all alone. You should have someone here to cook for you. You know, Sister Wong from the church is single too. She's well off, well liked, and enthusiastic in her faith. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the two of you could be there for each other and serve the Lord together? Sister Wong then called me later that evening, urging me not to believe in Eastern lightning. She also said that if I was short of money for my son's marriage, I only need ask. Hearing this left me feeling really torn. When my wife was sick and bedridden, our daughter had a bad car accident on the way to get her medicine. Sister Wong came to take care of both my wife and my daughter. I've always been so grateful to her. Would I hurt Sister Wong's feelings if I didn't take her advice? But trying to protect our relationship would mean I was betraying the Lord. I was distraught praying all the time. I struggled for a bit, then delicately turned her down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. So the pastor and co-workers left you alone after that, right? Mm -hmm. They certainly did not. They resorted to more sinister tactics. One day working in the fields, Pastor Lee found me and he said, Brother Zhang, if not for yourself, then just think of your children. Your son just got engaged. His in-laws believe in the Lord. If they find out that you believe in Almighty God, would they still let her marry into your family? Wouldn't that be disastrous for your son's marriage? You should give it some more thought. At this, I thought, you're threatening me with my son's wedding to keep me from following the true way? That's just despicable. It, it is. is. I said in no uncertain terms, my faith in Almighty God is my own business. That has nothing to do with my son's marriage. True. True. Yeah. Besides, whether his marriage works out is in God's hands. I know that Almighty God is the Lord Jesus returned and I'll follow him till the end. My children don't understand, but one day I know they will. At first I thought that it was all just talk on Pastor Lee's part but he was actually using something as important as that to get me to betray Almighty God. I went to my son's welding shop a few days later. He furrowed his brow and said, Dad, my fiance said, Pastor Lee went to see her family and told them you believe in Eastern Lightning. She said, if you refuse to give that up, the wedding is off. 
I was aghast and infuriated. Pastor Lee was using my son's marriage to threaten me. How could a believer in the Lord be so despicable? Seeing my son acting so crestfallen, I started to feel terrible. It was just 18 days before their wedding day. Was it really all going to fall apart that way? I felt tears starting to fill my eyes. He continued. Dad, she also said that she has three conditions for getting married. First, is to terminate our father-son relationship. Second, is to abandon you in your old age. And third, is to cut off all family ties. He said, my mom is no longer with us. Please stop believing in the Eastern Lightning for the sake of our family. Hearing my son's words and seeing his face full of pain pierced my heart like a knife. Just because I believed in Almighty God, these clergy members were treating me like an enemy, forcing my son to cut his ties with me. That's disgusting. That's That's disgusting. disgusting. Yes. I said to my son, my son, you are an adult now. I don't need to take care of you. I'm old and I want to practice my faith, following God for the rest of my days. I hope you can understand. At that, I turned around and left the shop. Back at home, I came before God in prayer. Almighty God, the pastor is using every trick in the book to hassle me and coerce me. My son is going to cut off all ties with me. I feel so weak right now. Please guide me and give me some faith. Amen. 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 Brother Lin from the Church of Almighty God came by the next day, and I told him what was going on. He read a passage of Almighty God's words for me. Almighty God says, in every step of work that God does within people, externally it appears to be interactions between people as if born of human arrangements or from human interference. But behind the scenes, every step of work and everything that happens is a wager made by Satan before God and requires people to stand firm in their testimony to God. Take when Job was tried, for example. Behind the scenes, Satan was making a bet with God. And what happened to Job was the deeds of men and the interference of men. Behind every step of work that God does in you is Satan's wager with God. Behind it all is a battle. Everything people do requires them to pay a certain price in their efforts. Without actual hardship, they cannot satisfy God. They do not even come close to satisfying God, and they are just spouting empty slogans. Amen. 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 When he talked about spiritual battles, in the context of these words from God, I understood that when we're hindered, hassled, or coerced by clergy, it may look like it's done by people. But in fact, it's Satan trying to disrupt us. Yes. Wherever God is working, Satan is there interfering. Satan hates God's work to save mankind. So it uses all sorts of tactics and tricks to keep people from following God, to bring people down to hell with it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Pastor Lee and the others tried to keep me from the true way, badgering me time after time, saying they'd give me a car, have me manage their finances or the retirement home. They also offered to find me a wife. When none of that worked, they used my son's marriage to threaten me. They tried the carrot and the stick. It was sinister and malicious. True. Yes, true. So malicious. Brother Lin shared more fellowship. When the Lord Jesus appeared and worked, the leaders of the Jewish faith hated the truth and hated God. They were well aware that the Lord Jesus' way was authoritative. 
Not only did they refuse to look into it, but they madly resisted, condemned, and blasphemed him. They did everything they could to stop people from following him and had a hand in his crucifixion. They did this because they were afraid that they would lose their status and their living if people started following the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just as it's written in the Bible, then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, what do we? For this man does many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. Then from that day forth, they took counsel together for to put him to death. God has come in the last days to do the work of judgment, to cleanse and save mankind. Religious clergy already know that Almighty God's words are the truth, but they don't seek or investigate them. They even frantically condemn him and stop others from following him. How is their essence any different from the Pharisees who oppose the Lord Jesus? It's, it's, not, it's really, really not. not. The Lord Jesus long ago condemned and cursed those hypocrites. The Lord Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of, of heaven, heaven against men. men. For you neither go in yourselves, neither suffer you them that are entering to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you come to sea and land, to make one proselyte, and when he is made, you make him twofold more, the child of hell and yourselves. Amen. Almighty God's words expose the essence and root cause of clergy's opposition to God. Let's read them together. Okay. okay. Almighty God says, There are those who read the Bible in grand churches and recite it all day long, yet not one among them understands the purpose of God's work. None of them can know God. Less still can any of them accord with His will. They are all worthless, vile people, each standing on high to lecture God. They willfully oppose God even as they carry his banner. Claiming faith in God, still they eat the flesh and drink the blood of man. All such people are devils that devour the soul of man, demons that deliberately get in the way of those trying to step onto the right path and stumbling blocks, impeding those who seek God. They may appear of a sound constitution, but how are their followers to know that they, our antichrists who lead others to resist God. How could their followers know that they are demons, devourers of human souls? Amen. After reading God's words, I better understood religious leaders' demonic nature of hating the truth and resisting God. They furiously resist and condemn Almighty God and persecute those who bear witness to God's work of the last days, so they can hold power over God's sheep forever. They want God's sheep to be theirs, to keep them firmly under control. Yes. Yeah. They yeah. stop believers from doing what they can't, gain entry into God's kingdom. They're going to hell and dragging others down with them. They truly are a pack of demons. They are. They, they are. are. If I hadn't personally experienced those clergy members' efforts to stand in the way, if it weren't for God incarnate appearing and working in the last days, exposing evil servants and antichrists hiding out in churches, I never would have seen their demonic opposition to God. I'd have been misled by them without being the wiser. That's right. That's right. I saw their hypocritical, hideous faces, and my faith to follow Almighty God grew stronger than ever. Amen. Amen. Thanks Amen. Be to God. Yes. Yeah. I kept sharing the gospel with brothers and sisters from my old church. When we were in a gathering one morning, Pastor Lee and his crew came to my house again, and he said, We've told you over and over to give up Eastern Lightning. Not only do you refuse to listen, but you're stealing my sheep and preaching Eastern Lightning to them. Do you really want to go up against me? I said, Pastor Lee, it is not right to say that. The church is God's and the flock is his too. 
You're just a pastor. How can you say the sheep are yours? Exactly. I'm sharing the gospel with others so they can hear God's voice and return before his throne. It's the right thing to do. Why would you stand in the way of that? Well said. Well said. Yes. Everyone's feeling weak and negative, spiritually parched in the darkness. They're not getting any life sustenance. Almighty God has uttered words showing us the way to eternal life. Why don't you want people to read any of them? Why would you strip people of their right to look into the true way? Yeah. By keeping them from doing that, aren't you letting them just die of thirst and leaving them stranded in religion? Yeah. Is that being a good servant or an evil servant? An evil, evil servant. One. That's an evil servant. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Pastor Lee's face changed immediately and he shouted furiously, I see that you are beyond my help. If you won't follow us in your faith, just wait, you'll be punished in hell. I said, you don't have any say over whether I go to hell. You don't even know how to recognize the Lord's voice or welcome him. How can you lead others to his kingdom? Yeah, that's right. That's right. right. Only Christ of the last days is our gate into the kingdom of heaven. I have found the way of eternal life through him. The responsibility for my life lies with God. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. After I said that, they all left in dejection as quick as they could. <laughs> Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. <laughs> God. And good news, yeah. I yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. No one ever came back to bother me again after that. Mm -hmm. I gained some discernment over Satan's tricks after getting through the spiritual battle. I also saw that pastors and elders are just hypocritical Pharisees. Yes. yes. Yeah. That they're antichrists who deny and resist Christ. I was completely freed from their strictures. Thank yes. God. Yes. Almighty God's words lead my every step in triumph over Satan as I stand firm on the true way. Amen. I truly give thanks to God. Thanks, thanks, thanks be to God. God. Yeah. Yeah. It's so true. Thinking yeah. back over everything that I went through, it was all a big test. I see that now. I was skirting the edges of life and death. Without the guidance of God's words, I never could have seen through Satan's ploys. If I'd followed the flesh and bowed to Satan, stepping off the right path, that would have been a serious betrayal of God. Sure. Yeah, sure. I would have offended God's disposition and completely lost my chance at salvation. I really was hanging by a thread. I'm so grateful for God's protection and salvation. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Thanks to God. God. Such wonderful yeah. salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Hearing your story has provided me with some discernment. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now I know how to face the church clergy. Thanks be to yes. God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.